Hey there everyone, it's Courtney here from How to Loom Your Dragon. Welcome to part two of Carol's tutorial. <laughs> um, so if you completed part one, you should have done the top of the head and the four legs. Okay, so in this portion of the tutorial, we're gonna do the wing, um, or at least start the wing. We may, I may have to divide the wing into two tutorials, depending on if my husband comes home while I'm filming. And you can hear Pumpkin in the background, <laughs> but oh well. She shouldn't be squeaking her toy. She might bark and run around. <coughs> oh, there we go. Shh, be quiet. She wants to be famous, guys. Uh, anyway, uh, the wing, uh, since Peril is a sky wing dragon, her wings are bigger than the other wings of fire dragons. Okay, so it is a little bit bigger. So I'm going to be using two looms for this part. Okay, if you do not have two looms and you don't know how to um, watch the tutorial and turn it into, like, use one loom and do it that way, um, you can watch the other Wings of Fire tutorials that I have already and um, just do smaller wings. Okay, instead of this big wing, you can do wings the same size as the other dragons if you want to. That is fine. But if you have two looms, then do it the way I'm going to be doing in the video. Alright. <laughs> I just took Pumpkin's bone away, so hopefully she'll be quiet now. Be quiet. Alright, so the colors I used for the wing. Um, red, cocoa brown, again if you have burgundy, burgundy is better. Black for the claws, and then for the main part of the wing I'm using a color called yellow pink. It's a pearl color. Um, or it could be a dual layer. Um, on the Rainbow Loom website, um, this is the actual color where it is actually more pink, like it says, uh, neon, pink, and yellow. So this one is more neon, this one is more orange. So I'm not really sure why they're different, but apparently they might be different colors, I'm not sure. But I'm using the orangey color, but this color will work too. Okay, so. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make these end pieces, okay? So we're going to start with, with these here. Alright, so I'm going to take two bands at a time of the wing color. This part is the same as the other wings, like these claws um, sections are no bigger. Alright, we're going to take three of the, whatever color you're going to do, the veins and the wings, you're going to take three of that color and put it here. Alright, now I'm going to do my claw, which is black, so I'm going to wrap a black band around, creating five loops. I'm going to double loop a black, pull it on, reclaim, double loop another, then I'm going to take three black and three more. Wrap those right here. All six loops. We're going to take two of the wing color across there, and then we're going to take one and double loop it across here. For each wing, you're going to need to make three of these. So if you want to use the other areas of the loom to make the other two that you need for this wing, do it, go ahead and do that. Pause and do it now. random color to tie off your ends. Again, I'll use yellow. Okay. 
And we can take this off. You don't have to take it off on your hook like me. I'm just, I just feel like taking it off that way. All right, so you're gonna need to make three of these. Okay. Then we're gonna do this tip part here. Oh, pumpkin, are you throwing up? Ugh. What are you eating? This dog is like a high maintenance dog. She didn't used to be high maintenance. Ever since we moved into this new house, she's like this high maintenance dog that constantly needs like <laughs> attention. Okay. Uh, we're doing this part here, like I just said. We're gonna, I'm gonna add these um, brown spots to it. Okay, you do not have to add these if you don't want to. Okay, so just do it as if I'm not, like, so just do it without the brown if you don't want to. Wrap a brown around your hook, creating four loops. Take two of your red, pull it on. This is gonna go right around this peg here. Okay, then I'm gonna take two of my shiny orange color there, there, and here. Oh, do you hear that? <laughs> Pumpkin, you're so disturbing my tutorial video. She's a special one. Hear her like gagging in the background. What did you eat? What is wrong? I just gave her a bath today. Maybe she's whatever. All right, pull your brown band again onto two red bands. Put those like that. You okay? She was choking and couldn't breathe for a second. I'm sorry, guys. Just give me a second. I just want to make sure she's okay. Unfortunately, I don't have good editing software, so you can just skip ahead to when I move along. I just want to make sure she's okay. You okay? Oh, you're scaring me. Sheesh. You know what? Pets light up your life. And it's so scary when they're not feeling good. She probably ate a bug or something. She's trying to throw it up. What'd you do, girl? Did you eat a buggy? Um, all right, so I'm going to do that same thing with the brown again. She's laying down. I think she's okay. You all right over there, girl? Okay, again, I'm going to take three reds. I'm not going to attach a brown band to this part, though. You can if you want. It really doesn't matter. Um, we're going to make our claw. Same claw we made on the other ones.
catch that right there. All right, our horizontals. I'm gonna take a double looped red band across there. Another across here. And one across here. These are double looped. Another across these. And I'm going to take two of the orange across there. A double looped one across here. Double looped one across here. Okay, I'm going to dig down and I'm going to loop up these three reds. Then I'm going to do the two orange here. Now, as I loop up these two, I'm going to attach another brown band that was uh, wrapped around my loop, <laughs> wrapped around my hook. <laughs> Sorry. So as I loop up, I'm going to pull that up. Okay. It's the same type of brown band we've been wrapping around the rest. Okay. Wrapped around, creating four loops. Then I'm going to dig down and loop the orange. And I can finish off this guy over here. This diagonal. Um, same thing here. So we're going to take another brown, create four loops with it, attach it as you loop up, do it again. It's extra work, but this will really help the wing to look pretty nifty. Okay, we'll take our yellow band, or whatever color you want to use to tie off. Again, it doesn't matter what color you use here. There's our nifty tip of the wing. Okay. All right, so you should have that. And you can always um, pull these brown spots more toward the center of each set if you want. Okay. So we have one of these and three of these, okay? Okay, so now we're going to do one of the main portions here. Okay, so we're going to take two red bands at a time. Some of my red bands are stretched out, so it might take me some time to find some good ones here. All right, now I'm gonna add the brown bands as I go down.
And now I'm going to fill most of the rest with the RNG lean color. So those last two sets were diagonals. Alright. I'm going to take my red, whatever color you have here, and you're going to double loop across these two uh, columns all the way down. And we're going to take whatever color you've done the rest of it, take two of those at a time. over these pegs.
Okay, you can put a double looped between these two if you want, but there's not really a point in doing that. I'm going to push down the bands on the pegs on this edge. Okay. I'm going to take my tip here, the one with the brown on it, and I'm going to wrap the, these four ends around these four pegs. Um, let's start with the red set here. Go through all four loops. We're actually going to take off the tying band around, push down, the next set we're also going to take off, wrap around, and if you want to take off the other two now, you can, you do not have to, you can always take them off afterward. I'm just going to do it now so it's the same. Okay, I'm going to lift up the top two red loops off of this peg and the top two orange loops off of this peg. Keep them on my hook, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to double loop a red band in between these two pegs. If you don't do this, there's going to be a hole, a hole there, and we don't want that. And then you can lift up the top two bands of these and put a, uh, or put two orange bands across them all and then replace them if you want. That's fine. Right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two orange bands And I'm going to put two over this peg here, two over this peg here, two over this one, two over that one, two there, two here, two here, and two here. And then I'm going to take one band and I'm going to... Actually, no, I'm not. I'm not going to do anything here. Okay. So these two here, we didn't put bands around, okay? So now I'm going to loop up everything. Now as I loop up these guys, I'm going to attach brown bands to the front. So, wrap a brown band around. Dig down. Pull it on as you loop up. Before we'll do it again. And we'll just loop up here.
Okay, we're going to tie off. And also, before we pull this off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here into this peg here. Through all the all the bands, I'm going to pull two orange bands through. Okay, so the two ends are on my hook, and I'm going to take another yellow band and slip knot that right there. I just like added an extra set kind of hanging off there. And then we can ever so gently take this part off. like this. Pull these bands out a little bit. Alright, the next part we're going to do is the next part up here. We're not going to work on this side yet, we're going to go upward. So I'm going to take two red bands here, then I'm going to do that brown band thing again. Pull it on to two red bands, put it on. Then we'll do just two red, then we'll do brown, and just red. and then one more brown. And we're just going to do two reds the rest of the way down. Alright, we're going to fill the rest of this with the orange color. Feel free to put on some music or something, because it'll take a little bit of time.
Okay. Just like that. And like I did before, I'm going to double loop the red across these two columns. Take two at a time. Okay, we're going to attach our claw. Okay, so now we're going to do this part. So it's the same claw as the rest of the wing that we've been doing. Okay, the same way. forget to take three of the red, pull it on the end there. Okay, and this we're going to attach the fifth peg, one, two, three, four, five, right here, right under the last brown band. Push down all the bands on this side. Okay, and we'll add our two orange bands hanging off the edges. Or hanging off the end pegs. And I'm going to take my um, this piece here, and I'm going to attach the ends to here. Again, we want to take off the tying band of the red set and of the orange set next to it. And again, if you want, you can take off the rest as you go. That's fine, too. Or you could just pull them off after.
And then, like I did before, I'll lift up the top two loops of these two sets, take a red band, double loop it across, just so that there's not a hole there. Okay. And we're just going to loop this up. Okay. Ooh, I missed this one. Hold on. Hold on. Every time there's a brown band in the set, we have to attach the same thing to the upper set. So you got to pull on that brown band as you loop up. Don't forget. I'm gonna f I'm gonna go up this row now just so that nothing falls off. You can do this one last; it doesn't matter. You want to be gentle as you take this off, because otherwise you'll stretch the bands out and, and that's no good.
Okie doke. So now it looks like this. Right. We gotta add one more section. This section here to the top of this half. Okay. So let's do that. And take two red bands here, two here, and two here. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take four brown bands, make sure they're not stretched out. Two, three, one more, four. Four brown bands onto your hook, and you're going to pull them onto two red bands, two red bands here. We're going to take two more red bands. Oops. Go through these four brown bands. Pull the two red bands through the four brown bands. And put the red bands onto the next set. So the brown bands are across all of those. And we have to add one more set onto that. So go through again, take two more reds, we'll attach them onto there. Just like that, okay? So these two outward ones are kind of bending in. All right. Two red, two red, two red, and we're going to do the same thing again with four brown bands. Okay, so four brown bands on your hook, take two red bands, pull the brown bands through them, go back through them. Two more red. And we'll do it one more time. Okay. So now Two red here, two red here, and two red like that. Okay, now I'm going to take two, two brown bands and wrap them twice around my hook. So there's two loops, well technically four loops, because you have two bands on there. Pull it through, around there, and we're going to go through them, and two more red bands, pull through, Okay, and then we will do two bands here, and two like that, then we'll take one band, wrap around creating four loops, Alrighty, there we go. Okay, fun, right? Alright, so 
Now we're just going to fill the rest of it with the orange, two at a time. Alright, horizontal bands. We're going to take two reds across these three, two more across these, two more across these, two more across those. And then what I'm going to do, what did I do here? Okay, so we're going to double loop across these two, across these. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think how I did this on the first one because I thought I did diagram it out, but... Oh well. Okay, just take two bands at a time. Three decreasing to two. So these are two bands at a time. These are not um, double looped, just so you know.
And just like before, I'm putting those loose bands on the ends. Okay. Now, we can attach this, these sets to here. Again, we can take off the bands as we go. We want to take off the first two at least. Okay, lift up the top two bands here and the top two bands here, take a red band, double loop it across these two and replace. Alright, I'm going to loop up these guys first. Just to keep them from falling off. Again, make sure that these horizontals here are two bands, not double looped singles, okay? These four sets here are all two bands. Otherwise your wing will be kinked. And we do not want a kinked wing, right? So I'm just going to finish looping up the orange. You want to stop right here. Okay, don't go any further. And then this row we want to loop up until the orange stops as well. Right here. Okay, take the brown, wrap it around, creating four loops. Touch it as you go. Guy. Okay, take two bands, wrap them twice around your hook, and as we loop up this guy, we're going to pull them on. Same way we wrapped the bands underneath. Bop, bop, do it again. Okay, pull them on the first set as you loop up, go back into them, pull them through the next set as you loop up, and pull them through the final and whoops, third set. Grab them on your hook as you loop. Okay, four bands. Make sure they're not loose, used up ones. Put them on your hook. Alright, loop up. 
and tie off. Yay. I'm going to use black to tie off the top part. And now we're going to take this off. Now the top on this side is going to look all loose between the two rows, and that's correct. Okay, don't worry about it. It's supposed to look like that for now. all these loose bands to the side and like I said here there's an extra space and that's it's good it's supposed to be like that all right so we've completed half the wing haha -ha. so now we got to do the bottom half with all the ridges but luckily it, this part shouldn't take as long because there's less bands in each part so we're going to go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times in this column with two of the orange bands at a time. Okay, then we're going to go one less. Here we're going to take two bands at a time across. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take one of those ridge pieces, these, and I'm going to attach it to these three pegs, the three on this angle here. Okay. You don't have to take the tying bands off at this point. You can if you want to. It's a good way to make sure you've gone around all the loops when you take off the tying bands. All right. Then I'm going to take the other one, or the second one, sorry, there's three. Three. Yeah, okay. And I'm going to go th through this one and this one goes there. I'm not going to go through the last one and attach it there. We won't do that till the next, till the next section. I'm going to take my wing and I'm going to go through this, this little guy down here that I had, the extra set that I had tied off. We're going to put that right here. Okay. Then the next two loose bands, we're going to wrap around these guys. The next two, we're going to wrap around here. So we're taking those bands that are sticking out from the first half and wrapping them around the bands here. 
Now don't go too far up because we don't want to get the bands too stretched out. Two bands across there. Two bands across there. Two bands across here. And then we're going to double loop between the two edges here. You can put one here if you want to. You don't have to. So I'm going to loop up to here where we attached, where we stopped attaching, and then we'll slowly take it off and put more up and just continue as we go, okay? Oops. So the first set I'm going to take down here is the diagonals. Oops. Hold on, my thing got messed up. Okay, we're taking these and we're looping the diagonals. Okay. We can actually, oops, what happened there? Loop these diagonals and even the ones in here. Those guys and these guys. And we can loop up once here, up to the set we did the horizontal bands up to. Okay, so we're just going to loop up to that set. So I looped up to here, and now I'm going to lift off maybe like four rows off of here, just so my bands don't get overly stretched out. Okay, now I can continue wrapping these in order on here. Now there should be a little bit of a space before the next one. Take our two horizontal bands at a time for here, and then our double looped ones. They're there, and we will finish looping up. tie off these ends. I'm just going to use black. It doesn't matter the color. Again, we're not attaching the final set of this spike quite yet. Not till the next section. So do not attach it. And then we will carefully lift this off. not going to take off any tying bands quite yet. Okay. Okay. Part time for part five. We're going to go all the way down this guy with two bands at a time.
we're going to go down four times. And we're going to go diagonally three times. And down Okay, I'm going to take my final cloth imagey and we're going to stick him on these three pegs here. Okay, so go through your loops. All right, take your wing. We're gonna wrap these five black ends around these pegs. You do not have to undo the tying bands this time yet. Unless you want to, you always can. That's always an option. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that final set here of that spiky piece with the yellow band, wrap it around that peg there. Okay. Now I'm going to make another claw that's going to come out down here, okay? So before we move along, because I don't want to forget this, the same black claw that we've been making for the whole wing. Make another one. And we're gonna take three red bands pull those on. And now this is going to be attached right onto this peg here. Okay. All right. So like we did before, we're going to take the loose bands from this side of the wing and pull them over the first two pegs of each column on this side. I'm going to start with the first four and then I'm going to stop because I don't want to stretch the bands out. Take two more orange bands at a time stretch them across the pegs and then we have to do the double looped ones here okay we'll loop up to that point
Okay. Always make sure you don't skip any of those sets. Otherwise, your wing's going to be skewed. I'm going to lift up maybe two or three sets off of here. And I'll do one more. Okay. Bands across here, two across here, a double looped one here, and if you want to put one here too, that's fine. So I look up to these three. Oh, and then don't forget these diagonals. Don't forget those. Oops. Nope, that one doesn't go yet. Okay, lift up three more. this guy and then don't forget these diagonal guy okay two black bands or any color really we're almost there one more section we just gotta do the veins, and the veins really aren't that difficult. Okay, we're just gonna do this part here. Okay. We're going to go all the way down, actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, down here. Then we'll go down here and here.
All right. Attach these two ends to these two pegs. All four loops go around. All right. Oops, I missed a set. Do not miss a set. Okay, I'm going to pause there and I'm going to put two bands across here and I'm going to loop up to there so I can um, lift off from the bottom. And then the rest are, are one, two, three, four. Okay. Take two bands across there, two across there. We'll loop up those. Okay. I'm gonna lift off two rows. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take the horizontal bands, they're a little harder to find because they're deeper in there, and just wrap them around the edge peg, not both pegs, just the edge peg. One, two, three, and then the last set will go around there. And then we'll finish up the horizontals. I mean, my computer screen went black. Double loop here. Double loop here. Double loop here. And we'll loop up the rest of the way. And then tie off your ends. After we tie off the ends, we're going to gently take it off and then we're going to pull off all the tying bands, obviously except for the ones at the very end here. take off this band, this band, all the ones around here. Hopefully we attached all our ends correctly. Otherwise we'll be really sad. Oops, this one I missed a loop. Um, I'm a little bit scared to let this one go because I think I missed...
Okay, if you think you messed up, all you gotta do is just put your hook through the loops, tie a slip knot, and then just tie the slip knot somewhere in there. You'll be fine. It happens, guys, but if you hide it well enough, nobody will notice. Not even you, you'll forget about it. Okay. So now your wing looks like this, and all we have to do is add the beans. Okay. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this vein here, okay? So I'm going to look at where my claw is coming out. Look at the space right next to it, and I'm going to follow that space up till it reaches the red here. Stick your hook through that space between the red and the orange that's directly above the claw. So it's a straight line. Take your vein color, which is red for me. Pull it through, flip your wing over, and stick your hook through the next hole in line. Reclaim the other end. Take your next two. Pull through. Oops, this is this can be very tricky. I like it. You might have to just be patient and work with it. But essentially we're creating a chain around the wing. Make sure your line is straight. Okay, now you're going to go through the red, the whole red set, all six loops the red. Reclaim the ends like that. And you're going to take a single red band through all of those bands, and then just wrap the two ends around the claw like that. So there you have a vein in your wing. So you're going to do the same thing going from this claw to all three down here, like I did here. You're going to start in the same space for all three and just go down to each claw. You, you'll have to go diagonally for one, you might have to go straight down and then diagonally for another, but just do it in a way that you like the way it looks at the end. There's no right or wrong way to do that. Alright, and then you have your two wings, or your wing completed, and you need to go back and make a second wing. Okay. You can follow the video the exact same way, you do not need to mirror it if you don't want to. Um, but what might end up happening is you're going to have two wings that are bending the same way like me. So what you can do is just stick your hook through the ends. And like, like I showed you with the horns and the head, you can kind of tug them to go the opposite direction, but it might take some time to do that. Okay? So you have two wings that bend the other way, eventually, if you do that. Okay, guys, so um, that's that. Um, so make your two wings and um, go to the next um, video. My screen went black here, so I have to just put the password in again, and then I can stop the video. Okay guys, see you at the next part.